Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Live, and it is Friday. I am so excited for you guys. We have an unbelievable show today. I brought a little rainbow of goodies for you into this beautiful table, and we have so many new things that I wanted to share with you. One of the things from last show that we did, our Quilting Corner, we I asked you a question, and um, the customers that watch Quilt and Corner are supposed to answer. And I told everybody at that show that I'm going to announce the winner today on the show. So stay tuned. I have the bundle. I have the bundle from our show. And in just a little bit, I'm gonna announce the winner from our Quilting Corner. In case you don't know what Quilting Corner is, it's a show that I do on Wednesdays. It's a super simple show. At that show, I address more technical things with quilting and uh, I invite everybody that wanted to come in, sew with me. And this Wednesday, we talked about this project that I'm doing for my birthday, that I'm making little six inch blocks that are being posted every single week for this whole year. I'm gonna be posting six inch blocks on, Tuesday, uh, on uh, Tuesdays, that's right, on my blog you can get the recipe and make the block for a special birthday quilt for the end of the year for my birthday and it's a big one i'm super excited about this birthday so please come quilt with me come make my birthday quilt with me you will not regret it even if you just come and watch and download all the cute little patterns because on the blog we have a little pdf that you can click on it and you can download the blog so you have all the information in case you change your mind and later on in the year you're like yeah i want to make those blocks this quilt is coming so beautifully i want to be part of it so make sure you go visit the blog but on wednesdays we do quilting corner um, and on that show, we were talking about cutting and pressing, direction of fabric. If you did not see the show, you can still go ahead and do that because it's on our YouTube channel at Laundry Basket Quilts. We always keep the shows. And even that we tape live, we save it there and you can watch it. And at that show, I asked a question, how many fabrics is in this cute little bundle? And this is the Coco Blue bundle. This is the uh, fabric that I'm using for my birthday quilt so uh, we have a winner I'm gonna announce the winner right now and the winner is Brenda Hoffman Brenda Hoffman she answered uh, the uh, question that we have so Brenda please if you're watching right now make sure you email us we also will send you a message through our um, videos so that way you know that you want this cute little fat aid bundle i know you are so disappointed right now because you didn't win it but guess what this show you get three chances to win something special so stay tuned i have some fun surprises for you guys i'm gonna show you a lot of fun things and um ask you some questions and you know the routine you have to answer and then we pull a winner so this one is going to the side with brenda's name so i don't lose it for anybody else that want the fabric and want to join in the birthday uh, quilt uh, making quilt alone making we have fat quarter bundles on the uh, website we have beautiful cocoa blue threads that you can add to the bundle if you want it and then we have this bundle called birthday bundle birthday bundle and this is the bundle those are like the background finishing pieces if you want to go watch that quilt in corner i in detail explain what i'm doing and how things gonna work so have some fun there and maybe you decide to make that first block all right but today let's talk about all the fun things that are happening at laundry basket quilts all the new things that we're doing i am so super excited we have so many beautiful collections coming out the next collection that is going to come in is our sewing basket and after that we have joy where it's a christmas collection that it's stunning i'm gonna do a big show about that next friday about joy to show you a little bit more of the swatches and then surprise you with all those beautiful things and you're gonna say oh my gosh christmas we just finished christmas i have made all my quilts it's never too early to start for the next holidays and the collection will come sometimes 
February, March. So I would say it will give you plenty of time to be perfectly ready for the next holidays. But speaking of holidays and speaking of fun things, the next thing that we're gonna be doing is making Valentine's quilts. I know you are excited about it because your heart is all into quilting and I, mine is as well. So uh, I love Valentine's quilts and I will be showing you more of that next show and the show after. But today, just starting on like a happy Valentine's, uh, something brighter M many times when I want to make a project that, that I'm giving as a gift I'm looking for something smaller and exciting something that could be display on a couch or maybe on the bed so my favorite projects are pillows and I brought our pillow talk book to show you this one is just so much fun there are 25 lovely pillow designs and what we have we also have beautiful beautiful pillow uh, kits like this look at that isn't that wonderful they're completely pre-cut you can grab a really cute kit some of them have applique some of them have piecing even the piecing everything is pre-cut ready set go you just grab a kit half yard uh, cut from linen texture and you can go ahead and make a beautiful pillow and i have few of the pillows right next to me on the table uh, another pillow that we have the pillow design i have it made from our uh, quilt that it's from our rainbow scraps book so you can always change a quilt design into a pillow design once you know how to make a basic pillow it is nice to try blocks and make them into a wonderful wonderful uh, pillow design so those two books pillow talk and rainbow are just wonderful do you know what else brings a little rainbow into my life my daughter anna yes she's a one special girl i have two daughters dolphina and anna dolphina is incredible anna is this little sparkle in my life she always surprised me with things and just uh, truly is a little rainbow and um some of you were asking me to show a picture of the dress that I made it for Anna. I made her a dress for the red carpet event in LA. She was part of the uh, uh, red carpet for Willy Wonka. And um, I thought I'd show you today the picture of her dress. So I made her a pink dress and we were inspired by the tree that it's in the movie. If you go see the movie, you're gonna love it. It was wonderful. It's a great family movie and um, I made her beautiful dress she enjoyed it there were so many pictures of her uh, one of my favorite picture was when she stand right front of the posters and then uh, later on they scoop her up and took her away as she walks away I took a little moment and a mango with some stars and took some pic pictures with Uncle Jesse <clears throat> my first question for you do you recognize that person and what show does he come from what show did he play in a role of uncle jesse so please tell me somebody's gonna win a rainbow book from me if you answer correctly but back to anna she did beautiful she looked lovely she uh, did her thing and looked just wonderful and i enjoy making the dress for her so that um, is something that I'm super super proud of now if you're looking back to quilting if you're looking for more fun inspirations I love this book quilters patch this is an older book I did this book with fat quarter shop just like I did the pillow talk book both of those books were published by fat quarter shop but the quilters patch I just pulled it back out and I was looking at this book because I love this quilt with every single block you learn how to make a beautiful flowers and guess what I was thinking about it and I thought to myself oh what about using our sewing basket where is my collection oh there it is and of course it's 
also right here look at this is the sewing basket collection that it's coming in this month look at this as in a beautiful end of the month this is going to come in end of the month we already know it maybe beginning of february but i'm hoping that end of the month we will have this fabric but can you imagine this quilt in those beautiful colors perfect for flowers perfect for sunflowers gorgeous greens this will be stunning and the blues are so yummy with the delicate designs this could be a perfect one to create this gorgeous quilt so i may be recoloring this beautiful pattern to give you idea how nice it looks and if some of you have purchased the book but did not get the fabric i encourage you Think about getting the sewing basket fabric because it would work great. And do we have an answer for our question? We sure do. We sure do. You guys recognize yes. Uncle Jesse. That's so, right. <laughs> and it was right away, very prompt responses today. I love that. I love that. And um, John Stamos was on Full House. That's and our correct. winner was Debbie Tucker. Debbie, congratulations. You are going to get our beautiful Rainbow Scraps books and I hope it's going to bring a little rainbow into your sewing room. So this and I'm going to sign your copy for you. And by the way, for anybody, if you want a signed copy of our books, just let us know. Send that little message when you're putting an order. We love to do it. And for everybody else, you know that Rainbow Scraps is the special of the week. Week. so you can go ahead and get a little discount on that book if you have not purchased yet this book go ahead put your order in maybe get one for a friend for valentine's this is a wonderful gift i'm putting this one to the side so i can sign it and send it to my quilting friend now um we talk about our quilters patch oh you know what let's give this one away as a gift today so um can you tell me guys what is the next collection after sewing basket coming in i just mentioned to you what is another collection that i have coming in what is the name of it after our sewing basket collection i'm wonder who paid attention i mentioned something and in the meantime i wanted to show you back uh, our blocks of the month just to refresh just to let you know and the biggest thanks to all of you guys that are signing up for our blocks of the month and anybody that did not yet sign please go ahead join us in you're gonna have so much fun and we are pre-cutting and getting everything ready for you guys this one is one of my personal favorite called sewing basket block of the month and obviously has a sewing baskets right in the middle it's combined piecing and appliquing it's just lovely and this is one coming up soon we right now already started our teller shop village but yes you can still sign this month you can still sign for this one and i know a lot of customers are doing this it's a beautiful beautiful quilt it looks so much better in real life than on a picture so you will be uh, disappointed if you don't sign because you're gonna regret it when you see the quilt now the next one is blizzard and this one embrace my love of blue and light fabrics and we're using the coco blue collection for this one again completely pre-cut every month you get two big snowflakes two small snowflakes in no time you're gonna have a little blizzard in your sewing room so those are the three gorgeous blocks of the month that we have and now do we have an answer for our question we sure do i love that guys you're paying attention today yes. i love that yes i love that and and at first i was confused i thought they were calling me by the wrong name but no. oh no <laughs> our answer was joy and our winner is renee painter congratulations renee you just won a beautiful quilters patch book i hope you enjoy all those beautiful flowers and a gorgeous garden that those blocks create and there is a little friend here a little kitty maybe it's time to pet your kitty or adopt one from the shelter this is just a beautiful book so congratulations i will sign the copy and we will send it to you please don't forget email us your address so that way we can do that oh this is such a good project wow two books already 
are ongoing to you guys and we still have one more book called pillow talk i'm gonna ask you later on one more question and somebody is gonna win that book and if you are good girls today and boys i'm gonna include one of my favorite kids what it's this one for this gorgeous pillow from the pillow talk look at this beautiful pillow isn't that nice i love it and this just on the back a simple uh pocket so you can put your pillow in it it's so easy you don't even have to worry about putting a zipper in or buttons it's super easy i fit my pillows in and i can swap them around and this adds so much color especially in january when it's gray outside and i'm a little bit gloomy i love to have something colorful on my couch or on my favorite rocking chair so that way i can enjoy myself and those are really really nice it really throws and brings some fun color into your space so pillows are great I'm gonna Second, yes. I can't see any of the pillows in the um, on the right. site. No, no, no. Oh, that's so okay. I will bring all of them to show you guys. Okay, How is perfect. that? Sounds all good. right. Look Sounds at good. this. Isn't it beautiful? This is the one that I just showed you. I'm gonna show you all of them right now. So another one. I was just reaching out for this one, and I uh, have a special surprise on the back of this one. This one is made with the. Uh, little circles and it's nice and scrappy we also have a kit for this one but the kit is a linen texture those are all different scraps that i have it and i made this look at what i did on the back i took a men's shirt <coughs> oh michael now you know where your shirt went and i cut a square from the front of the shirt the packet is still here so i can put little love messages from michael i did this for you sweetheart it was specially done for you i'm sorry you're missing your shirt and look at how easy the buttons are already on so i can just put my pillow right there and a button back up isn't that cute oh i can enjoy this pillow or have a little pillow fight over that shirt in the back isn't that sweet one all right so this one is da 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 another lovely pillow that i have right here is this one and this is just a uh, gorgeous eight point star and i noticed i had this kid right here and you know what this is the kid i'm gonna treat somebody for this one is so beautiful everything is in it and notice the strips are already pre-cut you just have to sew it together you have your backgrounds pre-cut and you ready set go to make oh and i told you guys that i'm gonna include this one as well so now i have two i have two i have a one pillow and two uh one pillow book and two uh, pillows to give it away isn't that lovely this one is wonderful this one is made from the square dance quilt and again super simple just pack it on the back put your pillow in it fun and exciting if you want to try a pattern if you want to do something fun and you don't want to commit to a big quilt or you're making a gift or you want just that little color into your space pillows are great so um I'm gonna ask you a question. How many pillow designs I have in my pillow uh, talk book? How many pillow designs I have in my pillow talk book? And someone is gonna win a book plus the cute little kit that I have right there. And a second person, because we're gonna choose two, is gonna win uh, just the pillow um that it's right here this one is uh the long star pillow really really nice one okay you guys are keep going and i and love it i have to tell you Alyssa yes. chimed in uh about your backing for the pillow and she said husbands everywhere are going to be missing shirts now yes <laughs> i love that it really is when you and especially the shirts that you're thinking oh he's never going to use this one again he We're didn't okay, wear it it's a uh that's right <laughs> get michael a new one i now owe him a shirt i should have <laughs> never showed this on the show um but if you have shirts that maybe you know no longer uh the guys want to use it he makes the best pillow back 
the best because you just make a little quilt top use the pillow back as you put a binding all the directions are in the book i included the shirt direction in my book so that way you can go ahead and use those and how nice to have a low packet if you have little granddaughter or grandson you can put little messages every time you visit their house they can have their own pillow and you just slip a little cute little message for them what a wonderful idea we want to do that so uh, do we have an answer already we do i love that okay um our winner is jim gribsby and the answer is 25. that's correct we have 25 pillow designs in this beautiful beautiful book so congratulations i'm so proud of you guys and please remember send us your address so we can send it and i will sign the book again now one more we choose for that one because i had two kids erin do we have another person that answer oh, yes absolutely we do or should we do what we did on our uh quilting corner i think guys so. guess what and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a book to this packet, okay? To this kit. Somebody's gonna win a book and a kit. You have until next Friday to leave comments and you can leave multiple times. If you know the answer, you can leave multiple times and now you know the answer. <coughs> so maybe we should do different. New question. New question. Yes. Okay, so for this new, 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 okay? We're gonna do book. We're gonna do pillow, but we're gonna do also new question, and then you guys answer, and we're gonna choose the winner next uh, 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 Friday at the live show. I wanted to um, invite you to watch Quilting Corner next week, but we are not gonna have a Quilting Corner next week. It's gonna be the following week, following Wednesday, Wednesday. but we will have our Friday live show. So let me think, let me think, what is the question? Oh. Perfect. Oh, um, how many blocks am I going to do in my uh, birthday quilt? How many blocks going to be in my birthday quilt? Okay. Some place there I have announced that I'm going to do this many blocks. It has something to do with my birthday. So you guys answer how many blocks is going to be in my birthday quilt and uh, I love for you to win this beautiful book. The winner will be announced a week from now on our live show. All right, enough playing. Let's get into those goodies that I have on my table. And we're going to start right in front of me with this beautiful sewing basket collection. We talked already about this fabric. This is a half yard bundle. Many times when I want a nice fabrics, I love to get myself a half yard bundle because it's enough to make so many more projects than just a fat eight or fat quarter. In this collection, we have beautiful blues, lights, grays, browns, a very little taupe, green, gorgeous yellows and warms slipping into beautiful pink raspberry and a touch of purple like a, a fuchsia i love 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 this simple collection very delicate design all just one color on color really fun it could work as a solid it could work as a little accent those are wonderful wonderful fabrics so this one called sewing basket collection but the sewing basket is not the only rainbow fabrics that i have in our studio one of my to go is the sprinkle i know we don't talk often about it this is just a simple collection with little polka dots on it it's very charming you can take one charm pack uh, match it up with a solid make half square triangle it makes a beautiful baby quilt and speaking of baby quilts i have this lovely quilt with me and this one is done with jelly roll look at this isn't that lovely yes so simple one fabric that would be your accent fabric and you can go light or you can go dark if you want it and then use a strips from your jelly roll and i know in your jelly roll you have more than enough 
for at least one to two quilts. It depends how big you want to make and how many strips you want to use it. But this is just beautiful. So right there, this is the jelly roll. There are 40 strips in it in all multicolors and uh, pretty much two of every one. Some of them, there are three of the colors. So it's going to be fun to mix and match. And if you want a larger quilt, this one is a baby size. You could do it with a jelly roll. Another fun bundle is a fat eight bundle. In that one, you get pieces nine inches by 20 inches. And in uh, from those pieces, again, you can make a really nice, charming children's quilt. I love layer cakes. And there are so many free patterns out there including our website for layer cakes oh how simple and easy do you know that my daughter Anna did a quilt when she was 12 years old for American patchwork and quilting and she had a quilt with a layer cake in it so I know it was a long time ago you're gonna now ask what quilt show us the pictures hopefully by next show I can pull those pictures and share it with you but she did a, a very simple quilt she just lined her uh, uh, squares I sewed them together into the rows it was so simple so fun perfect for anybody that loves quilting now uh, it was like oversized uh, um, um, not Irish chain a uh, trip around the world the colors were just sliding down not all the way around just one side sliding down this was so much fun to work with her on that project so that is the sprinkle i'm gonna push this to the side because i want to make a room in front of me on this beautiful table for some new things i'm gonna start right here one of the newest things that we have is our tulip patch and this kit comes from a collection called century solids we have a beautiful century solids on our website i showed you those fabrics last time and we have made a few kits for you guys and i thought that the tulip patch is perfect for the spring for valentine's if you don't want to buy somebody flowers you want to get them fabrics you want to get this kit for them because it gives them a beautiful selection great pattern beautiful background nice binding everything is there and someone can make a gorgeous tulip patch quilt so that's one of the newest one that we just added to our website dragon fruit can be just delicious and yummy again century solids look at how gorgeous and big this kit is this kit also includes our sea breeze collection and what we have done is have both of the fabrics uh, the century solid and sea breeze with this gorgeous yellow look at this it's just incredible and later on i have a little surprise for you guys so stay tuned this one is amazing if you worry about y seams or anything do not worry there are templates in it easy cutting strip piecing fun direction i highly recommend it for any level quilters this is fun it is a little bit work but it is a fun fun uh, kit another lovely one i had it right here compass star did you see how excited i went for that kit i was so excited because this is the first one that i'm gonna get right into it compass star is also made with century solids and look at this and it has some linen uh a sea breeze in it for your lights and it's just a beautiful star It's one of my favorite blocks that i love to do the center diamond is larger than the corner diamonds and that creates a really fun design designs so uh, if you want to we have a kit for this one now another uh, bundle and kit that I wanted to share with you this one is wonderful because this is our splash of color and it is batiks so many of you keep asking for our batiks and they're just wonderful look at all these lovely colors we have those fat quarter bundles on our website if you would like one uh, and this one was the one that my eye was drifting to it because I love rainbow but sometimes I like it nice and quiet and linen texture 3 fat quarter and fat 8 bundle it is just wonderful this collection did not got enough attention because um, 
we just got it and it just sold out so fast first of all and a second came out with our collection called uh, practical magic so many of those fabrics were very cool in those quilts that i was ma making with practical magic look at how beautiful this bundle is so rich so nice isn't it lovely can you imagine using this for my birthday quilt oh wow that would be just lovely if i would do that i would use something beautiful for my background maybe with you know ton on ton flowers i'm gonna pull up some nice ideas for you guys next time because it would be so much fun to see the quilts made for our birthday quilt alone uh, in multi different multi colors and speaking of making quilts uh, and making the blocks from the birthday um quilt if you're doing this please make sure you post pictures online because we're gonna have a big birthday party big bash in a year end of the year and what i wanted to do with you guys is tap into those pictures and make sure that i pull a winner and we have a nice contest and did you notice we had a winner for our uh, instagram for our tahoe uh, quilt alone that came out so nice erin is shaking her head one of the girls won eight and a half yards of background fabrics what was amazing only by posting your pictures so tag us on your pictures post your pictures when you're working with our fabrics or our designs we love seeing them we are so 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 proud of you so that's that one now um <clears throat> we moved through all of those things and now i think it's gonna be time for question and a little surprise i also have on my table beautiful threads because i want to bring a, sometimes the thread brings a little rainbow into your sewing room so i want to pull up those two uh, we have the wonderful um, egyptian cotton threads and those are just wonderful wonderful for embroidery and then the um those are um uh, embroidery on your machine this i would use it by hand this i would use it on my machine for nice beautiful stitches to give an extra low detail so those two are packages that we have on our website if you want to add a low color and notice the color sham that i like to use can you imagine wow now just a thought if you do this have a beautiful background and do some embellishment on all the edges by hand so you make your block a week and you stitch around if it's a feather stitch blanket stitch back stitch or maybe uh put some you know french knots with it that would be wonderful and i know that those fabrics are just wonderful to stitch by hand and with those threads you could take your quilt to another level by sprinkling some beautiful beautiful embroidered stitches on it now i told you i have a last little surprise i want to just remind you guys before i go to the surprise that you can still purchase common bright pattern as well as our beautiful common bright kit we are selling out of this one we are going to be starting this quilt alone middle of february i am super excited about it it's going to be our first event after we move to our new space can you imagine yes we're going to be moving in just a few weeks three weeks from now we're going to be moving to a new space where i'm hoping it will open door on creativity and open doors for us to get together and quilt together more often and have some fun now um for anybody that wanted to see me this month please remember i'm going to be at the road to california and i'm already so excited to see you guys and remember if you stop by our booth say hi to me show me a picture or show me a quilt that you have made uh, from our patterns there will be a contest at road to california that i will have in my booth I will collect all of the names and then I will pull a winner. Somebody's going to win a really cool prize. So stop by our booth. Say hi to me if I'm there. If not, come back again and find me. I'm planning to be there. We're also going to have an exhibit of our beautiful quilts from our Rainbow Scraps book. So I hope you get to come see the quilts 
Uh, if you want it, I will sign a book for you in our booth. Erin will be there as well. So you get to visit with her as well if you would like to and have some fun with us. But now, ta-da, I have a cute surprise for you guys. Fresh off the press, just added to our website. Are you ready? Are you ready for Valentine's? Did you want a new little cute kitchen towel? Look at this. We have brand new kitchen towels with gorgeous Valentine's designs. Look how sweet this is. Isn't that beautiful? I love them. Look at it. Just stunning. We have, let me move those things a little bit so I can lay those out for you guys to see it. Are they in a frame, Michael? For the most part. For the most part. So this one is number one. Then look at this. This is another one. This is the, uh, um, it was one of our dragon fruit, one of our kids. So the dragon fruit, I love this pattern and I love this design. I thought, oh, this is gonna be perfect for the spring with the beautiful low yellow. Isn't that yummy? And I was thinking, I'm not gonna buy many towels and make a jacket. We will get some fabrics for jackets too. Don't worry, we're working on that. And speaking of jackets, I posted a beautiful picture of a jacket on Instagram. Yes, we have the pattern coming in. I will be posting another picture today and answering all these wonderful questions and requests for you guys. So yes, I have a new jacket pattern that is gonna come out now look at this beautiful kitchen towel with the heart on it isn't that lovely i love this one oh so pretty this is from our applique uh, designs oh, it looks so so nice they're printed nice the colors are beautiful they're gonna display just great in your kitchen and um this one not last yet we have five new designs look at the tulips isn't that cute with the little pocket dots in the background so sweet oh i love that one that is gonna i'm taking this one right away home oh i love them i actually gonna have to take all of them home those kitchen towel and this is the last one this one is printed from my quilt i love this this is beautiful look at how stunning it is isn't that nice this is from our hearts content it's nice it's simple and i love that vintage flavor that it has it i that that is just so so special so this is our newest designs that we have for our kitchen towels if you're interested in a kitchen towel just go ahead visit our website and enjoy them there's so many gorgeous designs that you can choose from that i really really love it oh i love that this one has colors some pink but then some blue and i love the hearts on it mm, so special so special do we have any questions today erin we do um we actually have a couple of questions from uh sonia and it sounds like sonia is going to be at road to california as well i love that and she was wondering um are you going to be bringing threads and kitchen towels to the show yes we're gonna have a little pop-up shop in our booth for just the kitchen towels i learned a lesson don't worry when i went uh, uh, went to Houston we sold out of our kitchen towels second day in Houston we were just so thrilled you guys love the kitchen towels love the blankets but we're gonna have a beautiful array and maybe I print something that it's a special just for the road to California a little surprise so come on up to our booth we will have all of those wonderful things Ooh, I love that um and uh just uh, also if you have requests just email us we can always put that because road to california is only two hours from us we put it on a truck and bring it with us so it's going to be nice and simple if you want something just let us know love that um also a question about threads um sonia was wondering can you use silk thread to sew the hexes together she's sewing the mini hexi quilt together right now oh yes she's I, been using yeah. 2310 but it's showing through on the brown hexes if if it does please use silk thread i love using silk thread for applique for english paper piecing make sure you don't cut it too long because it wears out as you stitch so silk thread could uh, could work very very well and I use the one from YLI 
so it's just simple nice a top it blends in very nicely love that um great tip um deb b was wondering are the tulips for the tulip patch uh kit that we have available yes are those applique no they're a piece and we actually have also a set of beautiful templates i don't have them on the table today but we do have them on our website at www.laundrybasketquilts.com so you have templates and i did a video that i tape how to make a tulip so you can go ahead to our website and watch uh, to our youtube channel and watch that video so it's with just scrappy fabrics but it's the same idea the only applique is the two little leaves on the left and the right all of the other parts are pieced perfect thank you and then also a question about applique quilts do you ever wash your applique quilts or do you shy away from that you know i do i wash my applique quilts i use my quilts the uh, hand applique quilts of course the dead edges don't fray as much the fusible applique with time they start fraying but the flavor to it gets it has like a almost like a little worn out and i love that kind of look so it's your personal preference and you know what i make quilts to use quilts and to have fun with my quilts and if something goes wrong, I just make another quilt. <laughs> so good excuse. Perfect Get Michael advice. another shirt and make another quilt. <laughs> I love that. You know, soon he's not going to have a wardrobe between the socks and the shirts. <laughs> I love it. Guys, um, now you know. She could take my yeah. shirts anytime. I don't care. I love that. Thank um, you, Michael. And yeah. this is why he gets on for Valentine's a beautiful quilt. Because he gives me his shirts. Oh, I love right. that. Um, I needed a shirt off my back. Yes, oh, literally. I love that. <laughs> we was... really needed that today. You know, Aww. it's so nice to have somebody in your life that you know you can count on them, that you can take the shirt and they don't get upset. And in the end, they're willing to do anything for you. So make sure you're kind to your loved ones and kind to your friends because what you give, it comes back to you. So yeah. always think of that. Absolutely. Um, Jenny was wondering, um, are, Hi, Jenny. is there going to be a fabric line that's going to come out this year that are just lights? Yes. How did you know, girl? We're going to have something special. I can't tell you much about it yet, but we do have another line that comes out that just have a little our shirtings in it and they're just stunning. So it's coming. It's coming. I love that. Um, Gail was wondering, is and I think this is good for us to clarify, is one Fat Eighth bundle enough for the birthday quilt? No, uh, one fat, a fat Eighth bundle will not be enough. This is Fat Eighth, it's just like a startup and a guide. The girls that are purchasing Fat Eighth, most of them are planning to add stuff from their own stash because a lot of you have my fabrics or you are part of Fabric Club. If you want to have plenty of fabrics, I would go either with fat quarter or half yard cuts. I'm using fat quarter and I'm gonna stay in that boundary as I'm making my blocks. When I run out of something, I'm gonna pull in from my stash a little bit here or there because I want this quilt to be special and I wanna do fun things with it. So I don't wanna spoil a surprise for you guys, but there's gonna be things that you're not going to expect that maybe you didn't done it in quilting yet and um that's that's the plan and i'm gonna be creative with it did you notice what i suggested today take your blocks if you have time add some stitches you know all different fun things you can embroider a word of the week something that gives you a message so in the end you end up with an album quilt of 55 blocks but the maybe blocks that you want to make it two or three times and add it to it and your quilt gets bigger in this way there's going to be amazing multiple layouts for your quilt i have something at in works that it's pre-printed for you guys that you can add to the quilt there will be a lot of different things i wanted to celebrate with you this year so be open-minded start making blocks choose your layouts or maybe you design the layout and you're gonna gift me with some wonderful idea so never know I hope so. I hope so. I love that. Uh, we had a question about our little quilts club. Yes. And was wondering for the littler quilts, 
what do you recommend for when they go to quilt the the little quilt top so i love to quilt them on a small machine i mean sometimes i have uh you know and i'm pointing to my machine right there my long arm and i have an ocean wave right now on a long arm but it's big quilt so there will not be any leftovers when i finish the quilt but sometimes when i have leftover backing and bedding on my long arm i put two or three of the little quilts and quilt them there but for like i prefer to make my little quilt and do something on my small machine and you know maybe stitch in a ditch even if you do cross hatch challenge yourself or draw something nice and then stitch on those lines you never know what it's gonna come out and uh, the practice uh, is what I want you to do on those small pieces you can truly practice and don't be overwhelmed with the quilting perfect um... Donna was wondering, do you think a common bride could be accomplished in blue and lights? Um, that's Stop, her plan girl. because she wants to give something blue to an up, to an upcoming bride. I love that idea. I love, love, love that idea. And maybe I recolor this quilt in blue and white just to give you ideas. When we are doing the common bride, a quilt alone, we are already uh, prepping all the blogs. There will be so much fun with this quilt. And I looked at the pattern and I cannot tell you if you just take one section at a time and do it and be persistent and do climb all the way to the top. Don't quit halfway. You will succeed. I'm telling you, it's one of the most beautiful quilts I made. And with those new colors, oh, it is just stunning. So I hope you join me in and we have some fun with Common Bride. I love that. But um, in blue and white, absolutely. Stunner. Stunner. I cannot wait to see it. Oh, and I love the idea to give that to a bride. So. Yes, something Very cute. Um, we do have a question from Gail, and she was wondering, um, is there an option just to get the pattern for Blizzard, or is that only through the block of the month? Um, that pattern will be only available through block of the month. When we finish our block of the month, many times we go ahead and put the pattern out. Sometimes by the end of it. Uh, with Primrose, we did the pattern right away and we had a great feedback because a lot of customers wanted to do it uh, with the on fabrics. So we see for now only through the block of the month at this moment. I love that. Um, and we do and we have the kids are completely pre-cut guys it's heaven getting those snowflakes and just unpacked and just piece it beautifully together and waiting for your next block you're gonna love 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 that project love that and for those that are um, looking to join us for common bride um, yes. are there any y seams in that um yes common bride will have some y seams but do not fear i will help you through it it's going to be amazing. You can do it. We're going to just do one side at a time, pin it the other side, and it's going to be done. But there is a, a little Y seam where we're setting up those little four patches. And then uh, another Y seam where we add another diamond to frame those little stars. So yes, there will be some Y seams. I maybe do something different. I've never done this. So I'm going to that's a great question i maybe give away on my blog for that section something that i think would work and a supplement that it's all on also a star but it's not eight point star so let me work on that i know that there was a lot of customers that did our stars upon stars and they loved it but some of you were wondering could could you have something simpler, especially for the smallest star? So let me think about it. And this is a good, good question because it helps me prepare before we start. Perfect. And um, for those that have not done a block of the month before, they just want to make sure are these blocks will be quilt as you go. Um, where the Everybody? block of the month, you get your blocks and you piece them but you don't quilt them until the end where you get all the finishing fabrics, you put your blocks together and then you quilt them. 
Perfect. But it is, it's a monthly subscription. Blocks of the month are monthly subscription. We have one that it's six months, uh, that it's a little bit more expensive because it's only six months. Then we have another one that it's eight months and we have one that it's 12 months. So we have a, a whole array of, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, not 12, 10 months. So we have a whole array for this year. We're trying not to do our blocks of the month in November and December. We try to wrap it by <coughs> November because I know a lot of you want those quilts finished as your gift. So I uh, like to plan it out because myself, I love to have them done uh, before the holidays. And I, I know my favorite part is seeing all the customers post their pictures throughout the year yes. and seeing it all come together. It's yeah. so neat. So I love that. And did you have a question, Mike? Uh, well, yeah, the one question I saw was the blizzard Y seams. Oh, yes. Does blizzard... Does no, blizzard. blizzard have no Y seams. It's only straight sewing. Right. Yeah, there will be diamonds in it, but no Y seams. So I'm super, super excited. Uh, if any one of you have done our um, Montana quilt, very similar techniques to Montana. You sew the wedges together, then you sew them together into the block, set it up with a 60 degree triangle, and then we're gonna put it into a rose of a quilt. So we taught that out. I hope you would enjoy it. I'm super, super excited for you guys. And uh, snowflakes are so popular and so common. I can't wait for you have some blizzard in your sewing room. Yes, and before we go, we would love to know the quilts that are on the back. I love and that. And I would love to just remind some people that have chat in the chat today, if you are having trouble downloading the PDF for the birthday quilt, go ahead and email us at support and we'll, we'll gladly help you out with that as well. I love that. Anytime you have any problems and you, you know, you, you don't know how to do it, it doesn't even have to do with uh, my fabrics on my patterns. If you don't know how to download something, just email us. My girls at customer service are the best, the most patient and so knowledgeable. They will talk you through how to get your PDF pattern, how to save it, what to do, and you're gonna be enjoying it and repeating it every week and collecting your beautiful blocks so that way you i'm looking for my block i lost it you can be making those stars with me no it's gone instead i'm gonna have a towel in front of me so let me talk about the quilts that are behind me this one uh right here it's a feather star that we have available on our website this one is also available uh, all the quilts behind me are available through our book called patches of blue and i hope you love this book and enjoy it you can purchase on our website um, so this one is a feather star then we have aurora with the low salto star i really love this one and then this one not last, uh, but one of my most beautiful ones. This is, a, um, oh, I'm gonna ask you guys last contest question. <laughs> Do you know the name of this quilt? I already remember now. Uh -huh. Do you see for a moment? I forgot the name of my quilt. This is well, what's happened when you do live shows. Well, yeah, yeah, I okay. have a few of them. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, I will say, I probably couldn't remember half of what you remember when you are up there. You do a fantastic job. So. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so what is the name of this pattern? Does anybody remember? I love it. Okay. We're, we're waiting for some answers to come through. And somebody it. is going to uh, get my heart by winning a beautiful hard kitchen towel. I love this one. Oh, this is so cute. So somebody is going to win a kitchen towel. Do we know what is the name? You know what? I do have to say, and this is going to give uh, some people a little hint. It is not Aspen. That is what they are guessing right now. Yes, it's <laughs> not Aspen. It's not Aspen. It's in our, our book. Erin, do you know? Um, I think I do. I love that. <laughs> I, I am Michael confirming. knows it too, yeah. guys. I think so. Let me know. I'm okay. Myself, okay. Look yeah. at Michael is checking himself. Yes, I do know. I I, yes. I got it right. Look yes. at. <laughs> Did anybody answer? Um, yes, we do. So let and me don't forget back to up. answer. What is the number of blocks that I'm doing for my uh, quilt alone? This is your question of the week. We're gonna call them question of the week. You have a whole week to answer. That's the one we're gonna give a gift away next Friday. 
but today the towel do we have an answer we do awesome. uh, i'm just scrolling back to find her because okay here it is it was oh her name is diane i'm gonna find her last name but the answer was shining star that's correct shining star one of my most popular designs and one of my original designs this is not based on an antique quilt this just came out middle of the night in my brain just like this and now it's a quilt i love that so excited for you guys and diane uh, please make sure you email us. Erin is uh, looking for you, so she will send you a message as well. And um, thank you so much. Please email us your address so I can treat you for our brand new kitchen towel. I'm so excited. It's going to be great for Valentine's. That is so, so cute. Thank you guys for watching our show. I'm going to see you next Friday. Happy quilting and stay warm out there. And join me in for Tuesday so you can see our second block for our birthday quilt. I can't wait for you guys. I'm so excited. Happy quilting.